This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 374. Most people listening to this will not be able to stay on a raw vegan diet. And the reason has nothing to do with the food. It is because they have convinced themselves, consciously or unconsciously, that it is too restrictive and they are missing out on the most amazing, delicious foods that all of their friends and family can eat, but they can't eat. And this is the problem. You're seeing it completely opposite. I see the raw food diet as a lifestyle that has brought me the freedom that I always wanted. I was overweight. I had major health issues. I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue. I had chronic cystic acne. I had chronic bronchitis, major back pain that I was paying a lot of money to a chiropractor for no reason. It was never going away. It was never healing. I was taking Advil. I was taking painkillers every day. I had very, very bad insomnia. I had all types of random health issues where my head was hurting. Um, I would have diarrhea for days. I would have gastrointestinal intestinal issues. So I was going to specialists. I had rashes. I was going to the emergency room because I was breaking out in hives randomly. All types of issues that I haven't had to deal with in 12 years now. The only thing I've had to deal with is sleep issues. And I'm working on that because it is completely mental my sleep issues. It's my mind racing. So I have been prescribed medication, oh God, meditation, (laughs) medication. I've been prescribed medication, but I don't take it. Um, Back in the day, you know, I was always prescribed sleeping pills. They're so generous, these psychiatrists and these doctors, that's all they know. They're professional prescription pill prescribers. Say that five times fast. Um, And so I've been prescribed meditation, acupuncture, grounding, uh, reading before bed, shutting off my phone at least an hour before bed. All these things really, really help me. Wearing an eye mask actually really helps. Uh, I have a spray um, and it is comprised of, it says lavender and coriander oil and chamomile oil, frankincense oil. I spray it. It's a company called Little Moon. I don't work for them, but I spray it on my bed before I go to bed and it seems to help as well. And I've tried so many things, but that's the only health issue that has um, not completely healed. Okay. And that's because I don't do what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to meditate and I never do. Why? I just, I don't value it as much as I value other things. That's all. So let's get back to the topic at hand, the raw food diet. Okay. The raw food diet. Um, And by the way, I will meditate right after this because I'm just... Why wouldn't I? It really helps with my sleep. Meditating is like pooping for your brain. So after this um, podcast, set a timer for five minutes and just sit quietly and breathe. And that's it. That's your prescription if you need better sleep, okay? If you need help sleeping. Another thing that helped so much is the affirmation. And I don't want to make this whole podcast about sleep, but last night I slept, I think it was eight hours straight or maybe a little bit more. And I did wake up in the middle of the night to pee, But I was so tired that I went back to bed. Like I couldn't get up because I was so tired. Um, So yeah, I feel great when I woke up this morning, sleeping straight through the night. And I've been saying affirmations. I've been saying, I'm so happy and grateful now that I sleep straight through the night and wake up every day energized and refreshed. And I say it over and over and over before bed. And the way you go to bed is the way you wake up. So if you go to bed saying, oh my God, I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Well, then guess fucking what? You will be so tired tomorrow. It literally works like that. What are you saying? I can never lose weight. I'll always have acne. I can never grow my hair. I was saying these things too. And guess what? It took a very long time. It took much longer for me to heal and for me to lose weight and for me to grow my hair than it would have if I just started saying the things that I wanted to happen instead of saying the things that I didn't want. It's so simple. It's like every time you think a negative thought, 
You just say, okay, so what do I want? What do I want? Focus on that. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm in the process of losing weight. I'm in the process of becoming disciplined. I'm in the process of growing my hair, clearing my skin, finding a new job. I'm in the, I'm in the process of, of attracting the perfect partner to me. Do it or don't do it. Oh, fuck it. It's not my life. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what my life is like. I don't know what your life is like currently. But back to the raw food diet. This is how it works. I literally started in the beginning, 12 years ago, I started saying it's so easy to be raw. It is so easy to be healthy. There's so much abundance of fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds. There's so many things I can eat. Look at all the things I can eat. And I wrote a list. And I got to make it professional to give out to my clients. But I wrote a list of all the things I could eat. And I focused on that. If you're focusing on all, if you're writing a mental list of all the things you can't eat and all the places you can't go, all the restaurants you can't go to anymore or you can't enjoy, all the meals you can't enjoy anymore, that's what you're going to focus on and that's what you're going to think about. And you're going to have a poverty mentality when it comes to your health and the food and a restrictive um, FOMO mentality. But if you say, if you focus on and you say, to yourself, wow, there are so many things that I can do now that I am becoming healthy. There's so much amazing clothing that I feel comfortable wearing now that I'm losing weight. I feel so much more freedom in my body, in my mind, in my spirit now that I have control of my eating habits. You see, the raw food diet saved my life So I will be loyal to it forever. I will be promoting it forever until the day I die, okay? I'll never retire. And I will never, I will never look at this diet as restrictive because it's not. If I had to, if I sat here and listed all the fruit and vegetables and all the nuts and seeds and all the seaweed and spices and all the things that I eat, it's gonna, it it will take hours, Okay, there's so much abundance. And yeah, maybe you're shopping at the wrong place. Maybe you need to venture out and go to a different place to buy food. Maybe you need to try different supermarkets, different Asian markets, different ethnic markets. There's other places with better quality food. If you're struggling, go somewhere else. But you know, even if you like, if you have a Costco near you, you have so much access to so much fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds, spices, frozen fruit, frozen vegetables, and you there's so many combinations that you can make. And um, you know, you don't have to buy any books. You just Google raw vegan, amazing raw vegan recipes, and there's thousands and thousands of free recipes out there. So there's no need to feel like you're missing out on anything. In fact. If you stay eating all the things that other people eat, you are missing out on the best version of yourself. You're missing out on the confidence and the freedom that comes with taking care of your health. Because you see, you either pay now or you pay later. You become disciplined now or you become full of regret later. Okay? What do you want? Do you want to continue eating that food? Well, then keep doing it, boo. Keep eating the food that everyone else is eating and you will get the health problems and the body issues and the excess weight and the depression and the misery that everyone else has. Everyone thinks that eating raw is so restrictive and you have to be so disciplined. And it's just like so... um, um, Like you're cutting yourself off from society and experiences and socializing... It's not true. It's not true. They don't know what they're talking about. They're not raw. You're talking right now. You're talking to a professional 100%. There's no such thing as 100%. But you're talking to a professional raw vegan for 12 years. And I'm telling you right fucking now. It is not restrictive. You will not have any more health issues. You will literally get rid of all of your health issues yeah, okay, once in a while, you might get sick for a day or two. Yeah, if you get hit by a bus, you're going to need to have, you know, you're going to need to have surgery probably or something. Yeah, sure, things happen still. If you don't know how to take care of your teeth, you're going to suffer with teeth issues. If you don't floss and you don't water pick and you don't brush your teeth and you don't, you know, take care of them. But if you know what you're doing, 
Sorry, somebody called me. If you know what you're doing, if you know exactly how to thrive on this lifestyle, then you won't ever have to deal with doctors, emergency rooms, specialists, x-rays. You won't have to deal with any of these things. And that's what I want for you. I want the freedom for you. I want you to see it in a different light. I want you to see raw foods as freedom to the health and the body and the skin and the life that you want. Because by the way, sticking to a raw vegan diet or a healthy vegan diet literally gives you so much confidence. Because confidence comes from saying you're going to do something and actually doing it. Have you ever done that? Have you ever experienced sticking to your word? Have you ever experienced trusting yourself? Have you ever experienced being your own best friend? It's the most amazing, liberating, freeing, incredible experience of your life. It's a feeling that nothing you cannot buy it. Yeah, you can buy a cheeseburger and fries. You cannot buy happiness and the freedom and the peace and the joy that comes with truly loving yourself loving being you and trusting yourself when you say you're going to do something and you actually do it. And so if you'd like a piece of that, if you'd like to become more confident and more happier, if you'd like to become more free in your body, mind, and spirit, if you'd like to meet other like-minded women who are doing exactly the same thing, going on the exact same journey, learning how to trust themselves again, I'm starting my brand new food addiction freedom course. It's brand new because we're going to do something different than I've ever done before. It's going to be a little more intense and I'm going to be checking on you every single day and making sure because in the beginning you will need a coach. If you're not currently doing what you said you wanted to do, then you need a coach and that's where I come in. And then you have cheerleaders, which are everyone else in the group. So you're going to have nine cheerleaders, nine amazing, beautiful vegan women that are either vegan now or want to be, okay, and they want to be healthy vegans, they're going to be cheering you on, supporting you, sharing recipes, sharing motivation with you, helping you when you're down, supporting you, comforting you, and you're going to have me as your coach. And I'm going to be making sure that you do what you said you wanted to do, okay, every day, every day for six weeks. If you need that, if that's something that you need in your life, you need more confidence, you need to lose weight, you need to clear your skin, you need to heal your health issues, you need to stop suffering because of your choices, you need to feel in control of your body and your health and your life, then send me an email, my boo, because guess what? June 4th, we start. So that is next Sunday. June 4th. It is a six-week course called the Food Addiction Freedom Course. If you send me an email, I will send you all the details. There in there's no commitment. You don't have to sign up, but if you just want to see the details, send me an email, jd at misfitvegan.com. I'll leave my email in the show notes, but it's J, the letter J, the letter D. That's my name, Jeanette D'Onofrio, at misfitvegan.com. It's M S Fit vegan.com. There's no period. It's just MS fit vegan, misfit vegan.com. Um, there's no period after the MS. So send me an email. There's only eight spots left Two have already been claimed. I look forward to helping you help yourself. I cannot do this for you, but I can teach you exactly how to do it. I can show you how to do it. I can make you do it. I mean, I can try my best to make you do it, I have threatened many people to come to their houses. And listen, if you want to pay for my flight, I'll come to your house and make you. I will literally feed you watermelon (laughs) while while, uh, we get foot massages. Okay. Um, But uh, yeah, so I can't... um, I can't help you if you're not willing to help yourself. So the first step is you got to send me an email and get the information. See if it works for you. See if it works with your schedule, with your price range, with your budget. Um, I got to let you know 
you're probably not going to feel ready. That's normal. We're never, ever, ever ready to make big changes in our life. But if you need to make a change, then this is your opportunity. There's only eight spots left. I look forward to hearing from you. Send me an email. If you put the words, I am ready in the subject, I'll get back to you within a few minutes. Uh, If you don't put it in the subject, I'll probably never get back to you because I get a lot of emails every day. It's hard for me to keep up with them. I do everything myself run my websites, I do my emails, I do social media, I do everything myself in my business. And so um, just send me an email with the words, I am ready. I respond to those extremely quickly and everything else I get to as soon as I can. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And if you don't, if you don't have the means or the time to sign up for the course, that's okay. Then take this advice. Okay. All you need to do in order to become a raw vegan is one, you got to change the way you see it. You got to see it as freedom. Discipline equals freedom. Okay. It's not a punishment. It's actually a reward to be raw. It's, I feel like I won the lottery. It's such a blessing to be healthy and happy and fit and free and confident and, and not worry about whether I'm going to get the diseases that killed my entire family. I'm not going to get cancer. And if I do, that's okay too. Because my body, I'm working on it every single day. And my body is a machine that has been taken care of for years. And you got to start now. If you haven't been taking care of your body, that's okay. Start now. The best time was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. But I know that if I get a disease or I get exposed to some toxic chemicals or I get cancer for some reason from some 5G tower that I know that my body's going to take care of it because my body's been respected and been, and I've been taking care of my body for years. So my body going to, my body's going to take care of me. That's how it works. And so I don't have the fears that I had anymore. I used to have major fears that I was going to get cancer because my sister had brain, a brain tumor. She had multiple types of cancer. Actually, she had esophagus cancer. Um, and she had thyroid we're not sure if it was fully cancer, but she had major thyroid issues. Um, my grandpa had cancer. My grandma had diabetes. My, you know, my uncle had major heart issues. He had massive heart attacks, stents put in his heart. My entire family's sick. And that is a major reason why I do what I do. That's why I started taking my health very, very seriously before I had to. But In all reality, I really did have to because I was going to kill myself from the misery and the and the severe depression of being so tired and so sick and overweight and having acne and feeling like life wasn't worth living. So I understand if you're at a rock bottom, this is the perfect time. I understand where you're at. This is the perfect time to start now. And no, you don't have to be perfect. But yes, you have to make changes. You have to make progress. And I can only help you if you are willing to help yourself. You got to make the first move and then the universe works its way around you. The universe opens up doors of opportunity for you, but you have to open the door and step through. Nobody can help you do that but you. And so send me an email. I'll talk to you soon and I'll see you in the course. Bye.